All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things that we haven't talked about so far. We've just been working on triangles that had their one solution and it's very easy to apply the law of sines. Um, one thing I do want to get to teach you though, or like you, make you understand is there are going to be some cases, biggest cases where we're not going to have a solution um, to our triangle. And there's kind of two different cases on when this is, when this happens. So what we are going to be given is, you know, usually like I said, we use apply the law of sines is when we have two side lengths and an opposing, uh, opposing angle. So pretty much you can say I have two side lengths and my opposing angle is an opposing angle of one of my sides, right? So in this example, I'm just going to use A, A, and B because what we're going to do is if you take your A, which is your opposing angle of your side length, and then you just have um, another in, your other inscribed side. So what we'll take a look at here is there's a couple things to remember. If, when these two, when these two things happen, if you have an acute angle and the side length, A, is less than your height, um, then you're going to have no solution. So how do you figure out the height? Well, to figure out the height, all you simply need to do is take your B or your other side length and multiply it by the sine of A. And the reason, like I said, that we got that is, remember, if you're drawing height, you're going to be drawing a right, you know, a right triangle. The height would be H. Here would be B, and then here's your theta, which is A. So you could say sine of A equals your height over your hypotenuse, your opposite over your hypotenuse. So it would be H over B. To solve for H, I'd multiply by B on both sides. So you have B times sine of A equals H, which, is, yeah. which I have up there. Um, the next thing is, obviously, it makes sense, guys. If this side, if A is shorter than H, then you're never going to be able to make a triangle, right? It's not going to be a, it's not going to be able to connect because here's this angle. This angle says this line has to go on that path, right? If you have this angle measurement, it has to go on that path. Well, the shortest distance you're going to be here is your height. Yes. So if A is less than H, there's no solution. Or if A is less than H and your A is acute, that means your angle is acute. Okay, that means it's less than nine degrees. Now, if A is obtuse, larger than 90 degrees, and it's less than or equal to your B, not your height, but it's less than or equal to your B, then it's also going to be no solution case. So it might be helpful just to write down um, this one. And this one you can go and write it down, but there's kind of a simple way I like to do it that's just kind of simpler to me just because I really like doing the law of signs. To me, it's really fast to do. Um, so here, ladies and gentlemen, I look at my A. So as part of which case I'm going to use, I'm going to apply A equals 85 degrees. That's going to be acute. So I'm not, I can't use the obtuse solution, right? So I have to look at the acute. Now, you guys can plug in B times sine of A. And actually, well, let's just take a look at it. We could do B, which is 25, times your sine of A, which is 85 degrees. And what I get is 24.9. Uh, so my H is 24.9. Is my A smaller than 24.9? Is A yes. smaller than 24? I did B times sine of A, right, to get my height. That equals 24.49. So H is 24.49. Is my A smaller than 24.49? Yes. So therefore, this is no solution. The other way you can take a look at it is just to set up a law of signs. If you don't really know, set up the law of signs. When you do this, you get sine of B equals, um, what did I just do? B, B is 25. Are you using the acute one? Yes, I'm using the cube because I'm using this angle, which is 85 degrees, so it's a cube. So I'm using that rule. Um, equals 25 times sine of 85 all over 15. And when you do this, you guys got it? When you do this, you have 25 times sine of 85, and then you divide that by 15, and what you notice is you get 1.66. If you guys try to take the inverse sign of that, um, you're going to have an error.
because it's not within the domain of taking your inverse of 1.66. So therefore, you can also deduct that this is not going to be, or you're not going to have a solution to this case. All right. But these are your main two um, constraints that you're going to use to determine if there's no solution. All right.